the greatest stories that's never been told. In 1993, breaking was barely making a comeback. And if I'm honest about it, there wasn't really this straight up like B-Word cruise though. The early presence of breaking coming back was through hip hop dance and it was through the Filipino community. From me observing scene breaking, you know, back then everything was tried like Tootie from Jughead Tribe. During this time, I was also down with Lunacy Tribe coming out of Oxnard, California. As you can see in the footage, from what I was told from Ivan's brother, he was like 14 at this time, you know, and me filming him. I was just intrigued by his energy and I knew he was wild. I knew his style wasn't developed. Um, he was really trying to figure out his character, you know, but I knew there was something gold that I was filming. That's the reason why I documented this moment. And if you can see Tootie right here from the Jughead tribe though, if you notice the B-Boys wasn't doing traditional top rock because we haven't got to that phase yet. Like I said, everything was party style, you know, party dancing, all the new um, trendy hip hop dancing. And if you just look at Ivan, you can just tell like he was just going off, you know, just whatever he was feeling though. You know, everybody starts from somewhere though, to be honest with you, you know. And what's even more crazier about this footage is that this is probably their earliest documentation of Ivan um, as a b-boy that's recorded and that I have copies of, you know. A lot of people don't really have um, their full complete history, but I was very fortunate because I was there from day one to record these moments. I hope that you guys enjoy these videos. I still got more to come. Peace.